What up guys and welcome to the show and today we're going to have a little fun. We're going to take my uh, Sony RX0. and I purchased this a while back. I haven't ever really been able to get any accessories. That's why you have these cool little boxes here. They're faced the other way for one reason and one reason is that none of what you're about to see here is sponsored or a paid advertisement and I or anybody gave me their product um, to put on my show or anything like that. If you're interested in doing something like that, reach out to me. But no, I went out and took my broke butt and bought this stuff on Amazon. Um, and had it delivered to my house. See of Amazon Prime. Um, also not a paid sponsorship by them. I just like the product. You order something, it shows up when they tell you it's gonna show up and it makes things a little smooth. So what did we get? Let's go ahead. So first thing we did pick up is the small rig cage, a filter and wide angle adapter. You'll see how this is gonna work in a little bit. And lastly, a 4K monitor. Um, it's a cheap one, very cheap. Um, $70 cheap with some cool accessories. So uh, yeah, it's cheap. And my intentions are to, like, you know, more, so yeah, yeah, it's sure, mm, yeah, gotta make sure I look good and gotta have a camera screen so I can, can't really mount so much to this and the one, you know, tripod mount ends up getting chewed up by a bunch of other things to really make work. So it'd be nice to have like a cage that's what this is for, the cage. Um, so let's open up the cage here. Hmm. I don't have the knife, but I do have a crowbar. Oh, so it comes in some nice cardboarding. Yeah, don't really need that, right? Um, traditional small rig plastic bag. <laughs> um, I have a small rig for the 65 and the 63, um, and it comes in this packaging too, which it's actually pretty cool. You don't need to waste extra money on stupid packaging. That's just, for my case, goes like that. Um, necessary hardware, it looks like. Um, oh, bubble wrap. God, I love me some bubble wrap, right? Um, so I need that, take that, hmm. So it looks like it works like the small rig did before that I had where you basically thread in through the bottom lug here, 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 hmm, here. Here maybe, I don't know. I gotta, why this monitor's gonna come in handy for other uses later, but yeah. So we'll take that, looks like you just set your RxO in there nice and Ooh, that's a little snug. That's really snug. The other ones I saw online had a lot of Clearance issues. All right, so you just take that bad boy stick it in there with the provided Allen key here and we spin 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 Lock 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 nice and tight doesn't have to be super cranked on because it's there uh, looks like you got good access to all your buttons that you need to have access to. Um, battery compartment, that's key. That is key right there, that the battery compartment opens easily. The ones I found online that had lots and lots of places to mount extra crud to, uh, basically did not have, I'm struggling with the battery door, did not give you easy access to the battery door. The Sony one was the only one I found, and this looks like it's high-grade uh, aluminum, probably, you know? Easy access, it flush mounts nicely, right? All right, so there's that guy there. Um, don't wanna throw this over the floor, vacuum's gonna get it, and Missy will get very mad. All right, so we'll put that over there. All right, next item, the lens, wide-angle lens here. Yeah, I know it's a bit excessive, but anything worth doing is worth overkill. All right, here we go. 
traditional made in China packaging, cardboard, paperwork, lens cleaner, thingy bobber, ooh, plastic bag, and soft case. Ooh, this is different. It's got a little pouchy thingy thingy here. You know, pouchy thingy. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, this is actually pretty good. I don't know about this little lanyard guy. That might annoy me. So it's got a very large front aperture or front lens, kind of almost fisheye. That's kind of neat. I like that. And then the threading part, I'm assuming is here, right? Which is gonna allow me to thread this guy to this guy, but it has a micro lens adapter. Um, if I'm getting this wrong, please don't massacre me in the comments. Just let me know I have it wrong. I'm not a camera guy, but so it has this guy. Then this guy attaches to it. So, actually, let's do it with the small lens first here. Yeah. Small lens. Here we go. Wow. So it just kind of threads in there nicely, like so. Right? And if I'm getting any of that second camera angle wrong, pff, sorry, dude, first time. This is all new, by the way. Yeah, upgrades. Uh, yeah, so this goes in just like that. And this happy jobby guy screws onto it just like that. Oh, oh this is that stupid thing. Might better have a knife here than a crowbar, because... All right. So that's this guy. All right, let's get rid of that. Wow, look at that. That's massive. Right, see how massive that is? I believe that's a 72 front. Um, according to the lens cap, it's a 72, which means that my ND filter that I already possess will fit this. Oh, one of my cameras just died. All right, so what you just witnessed was my upper camera died. Um, Battery died, we've been doing a lot of filming. I haven't had a chance to really get everything charged. I was using a uh, little pony pack guy and uh, it doesn't work. Downside to the Sony system, which we'll get into that later. But let's give this a try here. So we're gonna turn this on here. And it doesn't seem to add a whole lot of, change a whole lot here. But that's cool. Having that filter on there like that. Kind of gives it a nice little fisheye look too. All right, so we'll see more about this. More will come. Now for this guy. Now this, I've been eyeing one of these for a while and to find these as low as a hundred and seventy nine dollars and everybody and their grandmother has reviewed this thing and everybody and their grandmother says it's worth the money right so remember it in, in these things is you pay for what you get you get what you pay for um, my anticipation with this is not expecting to get some like super in focus system I'm really looking for something that I can just strap onto this guy and use for some really cool stuff Ooh, that's a snug box. Oh, oh boy, that's tight. The tolerance is on that, and the vacuum on that is insane. You can make that a workout. Yeah, the box press workout, I can see it now. Yeah, pulling boxes apart. No wonder a lot of people who do unboxing are fairly thin. So kind of a workout. No, I'm kidding. They're not. There's, And I'm not saying everyone that does an unboxing is fat either. Um, yeah, we're all regular people. This has nothing to do with our cardiovascular ability or our muscle strength endurance. Um, all right. Wow, that was a lot to just maintain PC over keeping this together. All right, so let's keep on with this now. Huh? All right. So here we go. Um, oh, this was the hood, the sun hood. So this thing comes with quite a lot of accessories, I noticed, in comparison to uh, other units I found on the market. This is the Andy Cine 4K, by the way. Um, but yeah, Velcro hood, sunshade, I'm sorry. 
Nice foamy foam as you protect it. This is the what appears to be the monitor itself is right here. Seems pretty decent. We'll set that over there for right now. Um, carefully branded cleaner. Um, packaging paperwork. Uh, ooh, now to the stuff that we really need in the box here. Uh, HDMI cable. This one says HDMI to Mini 1M. Hmm. That looks pretty big. I don't know. Maybe you get more of these. Oh, wait! There are more cables in here. So there's also another HDMI to... I think this is the one that goes to my Sony camera. Ooh! A... Oh, this is the frame for your Velcro on sunshade. That's nice. Didn't expect that. All right, and the arm. Now this is the thing that was for me, like a lot of people glanced over it if it was, you know, said it was metal, but they didn't mention, wow, it's not flimsy. I was expecting flimsy based on what I saw. Like nobody really said, mm, this is sturdy. Um, no, it's actually pretty, pretty darn good. Uh, didn't expect that. I expected a little more flimsy. Sorry, you know, you're paying $179 for some technology. You don't really expect it to be that high grade of a quality on some of these things when you're expecting them to spend the money on this end. All right, so now to the important stuff. The actual monitor itself. Okay, so, oh wait. That is something that isn't in here folks, or at least in the version I bought. All right, so remember I got the exact $179 version. Um, no battery. Yeah. There's no battery. Yeah, you get all the stuff you need, but no battery. All right. Um, yeah, we're back here, and uh, as you can see here, we have the, we've managed to mount the small rig cage, put the little jobby guy thing on the back here so that allows us to protect the cables, and then we have our front, our new high speed wide angle lens on there, right, and it does come apart, so you know. It's a three piece, so you have this piece, which is the 37 millimeter, right? And we have the, sorry, it's a little in our tight, the macro lens right here, the lens adapter for the filter. It's a quick adapter here. And then we just take this guy here, put it up against here. You can see here nicely how everything just kind of butters up together nicely right there so nice flush finish there then you take this guy and then you ask yourself why did he get something with a 72 front mill here right why do you need so much up there well really it wasn't that I needed that much on the front is I invested in an ND filter right variable or whatever you call it yeah please please destroy my camera knowledge equipment online as you see fit doesn't really change much right so then there's that and that allows me to as you can see here it gets darker so I rotate it lighter darker lighter darker notice how the font and writing appears and disappears as I turn it it's very nice and then what I want to do here is I take this guy and just for this purpose right now, we're going to mount it to my lovely uh, Zion Crane uh, monopod. It's for my gimbal. It works great for my gimbal. And we're going to want to take our Cine here, right? One of the reasons why I like this small rig case, or small rig more so than the other ones, I just mounted this just to unmount it is because it has a cold shoe mount. So what does that do? That allows me to mount a mic, which I'm currently using over yonder. Um, 
but also it allows me to mount this wonderful arm to it. So if I'm in film mode or, you know, the nice thing about this is yes, you have to hit a button to make it flip. I'll go over that later once I get this thing powered up and charged. Um, but essentially this is the new vlogging rig that I'll be running to do vlogs with um, and use this camera here with, you know, an ND filter, a nice little flip up, flip around monitor that works. Now, yes, everybody complains that this little locky guy thing is pretty much worthless once you turn it. It's true. It's pretty much worthless once you turn this. You turn this guy here, right, one time without once it's locked. So see, it's nice and snug. Notice how it tightens up and levels out a little bit. But as soon as you do one of these jobby things, it's forever lost, right? See how it's already starting to kind of like move and do its own thing here. But yeah, so... That's essentially how it works. Um, I kind of, whatever, it's not really about what I like or dislike considering I just got all this and rigged this all up. But this right here is going to be the new vlogging rig. Now I can hook up a mic and you know put it here, which is what I will do, but I'm currently using it. I don't have the fundage to do all that. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it right here, guys. So that's my new 4K, uh, well not 4K, but my new um, vlogging rig you know really strip this guy down of all its steroids very fast you know um, I don't anticipate actually taking this guy anywhere else but right now I can use that for that which is kind of what the plan is for this guy is to use it as a as a viewing monitor for my for filming and feedback and blogging so I can see what I look like, you know, more so yeah, you know, sure, mm, yeah, it's got to make sure I look good and got to have a camera screen so I can see that because what's the point of doing a selfie if you got to go, huh, I can't really watch myself film. All right, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment below.